Ender Lilies. This is a rare game. I think it's perfect. I think it's one of the few games in the world where I can genuinely say this is a masterpiece. I got a platinum on PS4. I even got the physical copy. And the soundtrack is on its way. I don't know if I'm able to give this game a score without it being completely, honestly biased. So I'm gonna do my best to make a case for you to just simply go get it. Before we start, do me a favor. Hit that sub, hit that like, leave a comment. Please, I'm trying to reach 100 boxes in my box army and I need your help to do it. So help a humble box out. Ender Lilies was recommended to me by my bro. He got it before me. And believe me when I tell you this man hounded me to play this game. I like, it was, are we there yet? No, are we there yet? No. It took a bit, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't see the appeal of it. It just looked like the cute little girl going through hell in the Metrobania. But when I finally got it, and I finally got around to play it, I fell in love with it. So let me explain to you guys my feelings for it. This bench, this bench right here, is where I fell in love with the game. So I put about the rain, the image of the undead knight and the priestess just sitting here. Uh, it was beautiful. The ambiance it was glorious. This is where I actually look at the menu, because I just saved it before. But now we got spirits, relics, fast travel. Okay, and then I, and then I see this. I can hide the UI. This is too much for me. This game knows it's beautiful. This game knows it's a looker. And it's just going to let me look at it. It gives me the option to just hide the nonsense. And, yo, I'm saying, um, animated background much like right here, right now. This is amazing. I love it. And this is only the beginning of the game. We got the wondrous forest. The catacombs. We even got the frost height of the ruined castles in the secrets deep below. Oh, there is so much to this game. I'm gonna just. Music is a classical assortment and it fits this game perfectly with beautiful violins. and piano arrangement. This soundtrack will move you. It can be whimsical when it wants to be, but also haunting when it needs to be. This quickly became one of my favorite soundtracks in recent memory. Please, do yourself a favor and just go over to YouTube and hear a couple songs. Shoot, that might be all the reason to go buy this game. Give it a try. You won't regret it. As you can see, this game looks great. It hits a weird contrast. Look at the world. It's ruined. All it's lost. All hope is lost. Everybody's dead. There's nothing but destruction around. Yet. You see a cute little girl in white traveling through the, all this mess. It is perfect because you will never lose sight of her in this land. She is the only thing that stands out even among your spirits. Each one of them are in a destroyed ruined state. She is the only thing in this land that is bright and pure. But the question is for how long? Hmm? Besides, the characters all look, well, awesome. Just look at some of these designs. I'm not gonna lie, I vibe with this aesthetic. I don't know, Ruined Knight, Forsaken Priestess. Yeah, I'm down for this. Backgrounds in this game are elegant. This scene right here is a moment I knew 
that the developers had an eye for art, for presentation. So what happened here? What happened in this game? Well, the very lame boss interpretation is very simple. The land has some form of plague and it's your job to guide this girl through it. The sweet little angel. Can you do something about it? About the plague? I don't know. That's for you to find out. Link down below to a video that explains everything in this game. It is by Indie Explorer. They did an amazing job of piecing together the history. I didn't really catch on to most of the stuff I was reading, though I did read it. Go give it a watch. Believe me, it is worth it. So let's talk some gameplay. You have the standard skill and ability you receive after being a boss, like double jump, air dash. It all comes to be expected from a Metrobania. You will find piece of the lore here and there, and numerous upgrades along the way to help you on your journey. All seems pretty good. Any up and up. What I expect, it's what I get. When it comes to combat, you have the standard healing and the HP. You even have a dodge. For the most part, this is going to be how you deal with enemy attack. And if you really want, you can parry via items you can equip, but parry nonetheless. Now, when it comes to combat, this game knocks it out the park. For the sake of the explanation, I'm going to separate the spirits you get, which is literally all you use to do combat, into two different camps. We got the basic and we got the ammo type. Let's go over the basic first. Basic attack spirits are infinite. You can use them as much as you want, as long as you want. Now, they're all pretty much just melee range, but they all come with a little bit difference in how you use them. The hammer isn't going to be like the sword. The spear isn't going to be like the hammer, vice versa. Next, we got the ammo type. This is where the game shines in its versatility and how it allows you to deal with enemies. Ammo types come in all shapes and size. Besides it literally being all shapes and size, I mean their application and utility. Now, you can equip three different spirits at any given time. This is massive. You can do a lot with three and all of this selection. You can go summoner and just summon a bunch of creatures to fight for you. You can go straight basic attack and never run out of ammo and continue to just whoop it out, duke it out. You can even be all range if you want. Shoot, if you're so inclined to, become a poison master. And the best part of all of this that I just described is that it's only loadout one. You can quickly toggle between two loadouts on the fly. This alone is massive. The amount of play styles that this game gives you for an indie title that's 25 bucks, this is quite shocking. I think this game is punching above its weight class with this combat system alone. I'm going to be real with you. This game is a 10 out of 10 for me. I love this game, which is the reason why I'm making this video. Its story is perfect. Its gameplay is phenomenal. Its combat is top notch. I already platinum this game. I have the physical copy. And while making this review, I beat it for the fourth time. There are a few games in general in this world that I will go 100% for. That's what makes a game a 10 out of 10 for me. Here is a very few games that reach that pinnacle for me. They're all massively different, but they're all perfect to me. Mega Man X4, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Enslave Odyssey to the West, and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The Game. Most of those games have very little, actually they have nothing in common, and yet for me, each one of those games, I platinum. I wanted it. I felt compelled to, and that's why I think Ender Lily is on that list for me as well. To be fair, I needed to explain why I like this game so much and why I'm going to give it a rating of this. It is a 10 out of 10. Rarely do I engage with a product like this, where I go through it thoroughly, happily, and not regret a single moment of it. Now I have to put 
all of that aside, all the wonderful memories I have with the game, and look at it as a product on its own, I think, being fair, being true to what it is, removing my massive bias, this game is an 8 out of 10. If this game had voice acting, it would be pushed up to a 9 out of 10. Hearing a story speak for itself does a lot and it goes a long way. Death Gambit is a perfect example of this. But seeing how high this game already scored, being an 8 out of 10, it really doesn't need it. It will be just a cherry on top. Ender Lily is a phenomenal game. I believe this game will hit cult classic status sooner rather than later. From the world design, from the music, from the combat, this is a complete package that is enjoyable from minute zero to the end of the credits. I believe this game is underrated and I think that needs to change. If I get just a few people to try this game, mission accomplished. Links down below for the Steam page by the way. You can also get it on the Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm planning something big, but gotta get some other stuff out the way first. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Help me reach a hundred packing peanuts by the end of the year. I'll be most grateful, and have a wonderful day.